na gana mpenye bedi chie Dr. Mamudu ba umia okasa hewo national banking conference etosu e dionu mienu ase hewo enkrain na enumu nodi e futuwe e masika krabi ya mpenye mfose e juma wamo yenu omu manu kuridie enye juma na pepe peye enkoso na omu nyo mhuni hewo bank jumedia isiwe niso ni emo wetu wa mfose so nungu kwa na juma e kwa base sika krabi ya mpenye mfose e de businya e ma omanfua businya mbo nuno e ya wamo nye wamo ntotuye e ni shishepa e yes sede be ya enko fa o hawo ni oyeni bia e ma wo musika sem eso o se so mo yo mo hihye yi a o mbe bo wo customers ho ban na customers nso enye gidie e wo sika kra bia hura e wo emon our government will support any initiative or policy aimed at consolidating the gains made so far in the reforms of the banking sector especially in the protection of the helpless depositors in the process of sanitizing the banking sector, we have been very, very cognizant of the fact that you have to protect depositors of the licensed financial institutions. You've seen the consolidation of about seven banks and essentially saving the deposits of about 1.2 million depositors at great cost to the exchequer great cost, but what would have been the opportunity cost if these banks had collapsed and all these depositors had lost their deposits? Would our banking system have survived? Just think about it. Would this banking system have survived if all these depositors had lost their deposits? Would have created such a huge panic in the system. And so we believe that protecting the depositors is so important in maintaining the confidence in the system for our licensed financial institutions the rationale for banking regulation is to guard against moral hazard behavior from the perspective of depositors regulation addresses issues of safety and stability of financial institutions, of the payment system, and of the financial sector as a whole. So what can the regulator do? First, for the regulator, regulatory effectiveness depends in large measure on the diligence of those charged with public responsibility to oversee the soundness and ethical behavior of the banks. But as a regulator, if all you have in your regulatory toolbox is a hammer, then you are tempted to see every problem as a nail, and you will deal with it accordingly. But given the dynamic nature of the banking system and the financial system as a whole, what we need going forward is a regulatory arsenal that is heavy in the tools that are able to detect change, early warning signals of moral hazard behavior, and tools that can ensure public safety, efficiency, accountability, transparency, and risk mitigation. 